everybody, and welcome to Epic Every Day, our weekday podcast for busy, stressed out Christians who don't want to live in survival mode and instead want to thrive. I'm Liz Ferricks, and this is my husband, Evan. Hi there. And we're so glad you guys are here with us on this wonderful Monday. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Liz's favorite day of the week. Full of opportunity. There's a spaciousness to Monday because who knows what's going to happen the rest of this week. Yeah. Sometimes uh, unknown can be exciting. Sometimes it's scary. <laughs> but this is true. It's uh, up to God either way, isn't it? As you guys know, we work our way through the CSCs. They are Tai Chi principles adapted from Peter Ralston. They're being calm, surrendered, centered, connected, and complete. And we do one of those each weekday because we've found that they really are the difference between surviving and thriving. So today, yeah, we are going to talk about calm since it's Monday. And this whole week, we're going to talk about uh, another set of, well, not another set, one one of another set of five principles from the Dr. May book, Addiction and Grace. We've been working our way through. At the end of the book, he kind of talks through the five, well, I'm sure it's not the only five, but five intentional ways for a Christian to engage in consecration. We talked about honesty back, uh, starting on January 8th, and then the week after that, dignity. Then last week was community. Now we're going to talk about responsibility this week, and next week we'll talk about simplicity. One thing about responsibility is it can steal our, all cr- our calm real quick when we start to be responsible for too much. We start to reach yes. out and take on responsibilities that are not ours. This is <laughs> How true. easy is that to do? Seriously. I mean, there's an element in which if you see a problem, you have a responsibility to do something about it. But sometimes your only responsibility is to pass it to somebody else. You know? Sure. Yeah. I mean, there are lots of things to consider, I think. I don't know. Like if you saw a car accident or something and you weren't trained in um, first aid, you could call 911, but what else can you really do? Right. We, we want to like do everything and it, some things right. are out of our skill set. Or out of our control. Yeah. And I think sometimes things. we take a lot of responsibility on for other people's actions or beliefs or, you know, problems, whatever they are, yeah. instead of recognizing, first of all, that if it's a problem we can solve for them, it's not the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just going to say that over and <laughs> yeah, over again. Yeah, that's a good line. Well, you know, this hits home for me when it's, you know, less of the like, you know, dr- extra dramatic, oh, I saw a car accident, but more just the day-to-day, you know, stuff around the house. I start to think that um, I've got to do everything and that I'm, that no one's helping. <laughs> that's the <laughs> thought that runs through my mind a lot, you know, and uh, that's starting down a a bad path because it's not true, but it is, you know, where my mind goes when certain things happen, you know? Right. And I think, you know, we, the second thing is like, we try to take over God's job. Like we can't change people's hearts. We can't control circumstances, but we still try to do those things. Mm -hmm. We try to act like we are responsible for those things, even though God's the only one that's responsible for them. Yeah. I think it also, we can get into trouble or I get into trouble, you know, when I start to think that I'm the only one helping out around here that. You said that a couple of times. What? You're the only one helping out. Is there a problem? I'm building up to an example. I have an example (laughs) later. It's not, it's not like this happened today or yesterday. This is (laughs) a while ago. (laughs) Mm. Anyway. And it's not just at home. <laughs> You're looking at me now. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for you to tell me, like, it's like oh, on Oprah yeah. or one of those It's after the commercial like, break. Oh, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. But I think we can start. To, like, this happens a lot at church. You know, at churches or probably any organization, a minority of the people end up doing most of the work. And you can start to resent the people that don't seem like they're as busy as you. Right. Uh, and that's probably a indicator that I have too much responsibility and I'm trying to do too much. Right. Well, I love the way Dr. May defines responsibility, that it's respect for yourself and for others. Mm-hmm. Because if we really respect ourselves, we'll give ourselves downtime. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because like, ultimate respect for ourselves would be to live in the way God prescribes, and that includes breaks. Right. So... Yeah, when we are being responsible, it doesn't mean being overly responsible. Like, that's actually being irresponsible. Yeah. You know, working 80 hours a week or, um, yeah, doing everything at church. All those, doing everything at home. Yeah, anywhere. You know. 
Those doing the guy all... at work that does everything. <laughs> yeah, that's being irresponsible, not mm-hmm. being responsible. Well, and we spent all last week talking about community. And if you're the one person in the group who, like in your mind anyway, like I'm the only productive member of this group, I do everything and everybody else, <laughs> it's like, you're that's not a good group member. You know, right. You're, you're stealing these opportunities from people. And then the entire group's job is not as good of a result. Right. Well, and it's miserable. Mm -hmm. Like if you are an I and you're trying to do the hands job in the church, not only can the hand not do their job, but you're going to feel miserable because it's not what you're designed to do. Mm -hmm. So it's like a double, double reverse reveal. Oh wait, no. (laughs) It's a double whammy. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Well, I'll get to my example. So the suspense can finally be, you know, so the tension in here. (laughs) Well, my example is when you were really sick. I, that's when oh, those yeah. things were going through my mind. You know, you were in bed a lot and the, you know, the kids were a little bit younger than they are now. And I was feeling like I was doing everything and you were doing everything. I was doing everything, <laughs> but part of it was, I didn't feel like I could ask for help and I didn't know what would even help. And I didn't know what to ask right. for. Yeah, that was really, but I eventually got desperate enough to ask for something. And it, we, some people were helping and, but it, how are people supposed to know unless I start to reach out? You know, so then the responsibility is, well, it's not working to, to have one person do everything. So get some more people involved. Right. And Ask for uh, help. that's hard. That's a hard step to take sometimes. It is. Especially when you, and especially then when you're dealing with, you know, trying to take care of your spouse and mm-hmm. take care of your kids and keep the house up and running and still do your job. And right. It's a lot. And, you know, I put this pressure on myself that I ought to be able to do everything. The work of, I mean, I don't know how single parents do it. I don't know And, um, you know, so there's, that's an, that's an undue burden on myself. And that's not responsible either to have that high of an expectation of me that I ought to be able to do the work of two parents. It just doesn't make sense. Well, and single parents aren't trying to like... I don't know what you call it, but take care of your incredibly sick, bedridden spouse. Sure. You know? Yeah, it's a little, it's different. Everybody's situation is different. But those ideas, I think we can, I think we can identify, I identify with them because it's my example. Yeah, <laughs> but. totally. Well, I think another way that we don't respect ourselves, especially this time of year, is we talk to ourselves horribly. Like, like at the beginning of the year? Yeah. Well, especially, you know, towards the end of January when people mm-hmm. start falling off the bandwagon and they're like, oh, I'm such a failure. I'm a terrible person. I failed my diet. I, you know, didn't exercise. I, whatever your New Year's resolution is, instead of flexing with it and being like, okay, yep, didn't do my yeah. diet yesterday. I'm going to work on doing it today. Sure. You know? And I think... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think we can be so negative to ourselves instead of saying, oh, that means I need a pep talk, (laughs) you know, like I need to pep talk myself. I need to be graceful with myself and treat myself like I would treat my child or my friend or with dignity, like we talked about the week before. And, and, And it's not just you. I was thinking about that today. One of my goals and resolutions this year was to walk every day and I've gone a long time now where <laughs> without going for a walk. So, mm-hmm. but just, uh, can I go for a walk today? Yeah, probably. I can't go for a walk last week. <laughs> right. You just have to take one day at a time. And yeah. like we were talking about in our complete video for our class, like you really just have to, you can only change now. You mm-hmm. can't change the past or the future. I think the big takeaway for me is, you know, these, these principles I feel like are kind of building on themselves. I mean, a lot of stuff we talked about today goes back to dignity and community and being honest with ourselves, really like mm-hmm. there we're snowballing here up to something that's all intertwined and so important for a Christian. And I think the big takeaway for this responsibility being over responsible and my calm and my peace being yanked away from me is that means I need help and we're designed to work together. And so that's important. And whether that's reaching out to other people or just recognizing you're not God yeah, <laughs> and being like, Lord, I need your help. That was something actually this last week when we were every so often we revamp our schedule just to be like, okay, how are we doing with that? And we revamped our schedule again. 
And I was like, okay, Lord, I have been trying to do this on my own and make this fit and it's not fitting. And I'm sorry, because really that's your job to make, yeah. you make sure I have time to do the things that you want me to do. So mm-hmm. I'm going to take a step back here. And that's a good preview for what we're going to talk about tomorrow when we talk about surrender, actually, you know, getting out of that overwhelm, but being willing to turn to God for guidance. That's a form of surrender. And it's so important for this. Yep. All right. Well, hopefully that gives us all something to think about. I know I need to work on talking to myself better and being a little more intentional about asking for help when I need help. Yeah. We need to respect ourselves and respect honor, others. Uh, yeah. And honor God's plan. And his plan is not for you to work 20 hours a day. <laughs> I, know, I was like, <laughs> wait, how many days, how many hours of sleep would that be? Oh, four. Okay. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. And then you're like, totally doable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, could you work 20 hours? Isn't is that much? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that day, not a week. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thank you so much for listening today, you guys. And we look forward to, well, what do you usually say at the end? <laughs> All right. We love you guys. And we are praying for you. Thanks so much to everybody that's been listening and sharing. We really appreciate it. If you haven't checked out our free class, that is going away in like, I think a week from now. So there's a limited time on how long it's going to be up and running. The free class. The free class. And, and the registration is only open for a limited time for the paid class. Yes. So if you want to check those out, check them out now. Yeah, we're on our webpage. There's a courses um, choice on the menu. Classes. Classes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hope you guys have an awesome Monday and that you can see today as a gift, not a drag. Talk to you guys tomorrow. See you later.